Hi, my name is Rev Bowen with Simply Waldorf. You're about to watch a free sample lesson from our fourth grade watercolor painting course. You will see how this lesson demonstrates the whole process of a watercolor painting. It can be used by the student themselves, it could be used by the parent and student together, or it could be used as a primer for the parent to recreate this exact lesson or create their own lesson based on the same techniques. All 36 lessons in our courses are designed to work in this way. So you have the flexibility you need to do what you want in your homeschooling program. Please watch this video all the way to the end so that you can see the free offers from Simply Waldorf. Thanks. In this painting, we're going to paint something typical from the fourth grade curriculum where we have a time that we know immigrants were moving westward across the United States. But we're just going to paint a scene that's sort of symbolic of that journey, not necessarily from any one particular state, but just sort of emblematic. Okay, here we go. Moisten my brush. Make sure it's clean. I'm going to start with some blue for my sky. Maybe get a little bit down here for the ground. Now with a moist brush, I'm going to soften the edges, but I'm not dispersing it fully. I kind of want to have a uh, dramatic sky. It's a dramatic journey, this whole idea of crossing by horse and wagon. Just remarkable that people could do that back then. Chose to do that back then. All right. I'm not trying to blend to make green down here just yet. I can get a little green in those spots, but I'm wanting to preserve some of the yellow to, to mix into a more uh, orange type of landscape. So I'm gonna create also a sense of mesas. So we're already starting to sort of see the, the picture there. And all I've done is put a little blue sky in there. And now the key to creating these shapes that really do resemble mesas is there, there's a portion that's straight, right? The fronts of these different parts. And then they're flat on top, at least partly. And then at the bottom, they have all this, this um, slope of rubble that has eroded for all these years. Okay. Uh, now that I see exactly where my mesas are, I'm just going to bring a little bit of blue in, in between. It doesn't have to be a totally blue sky. Again, I'm, I'm liking the dramatic effect of a really dark area and lighter areas. Mm -hmm. And now we bring in 
that red. Oof, that's a lot of red. I have to be careful where I put this red. So I know I'm going to have surfaces here on these these uh, these cliff faces. And then I'm going to have, like I said, these skirts that come off the bottom. And now I have some color I can bring down here on the land. It's just a nice nice warm cool uh, combination of colors there so already we have a nice composition just with this i want to bring some shadows though into and just some other color honestly into these cliff faces so i'm going to some of them a little thicker some of them really thin i'm going to bring in some shadow lines. Could be some rocks, rubble. I'm dripping, whoops. And don't get too caught up in making this perfect, right? Just mix it in a little bit here and there. That is lovely. Now basically we have our, our landscape and we just need our main subject, which of course is a wagon. So I'm going to start by just outlining with water the front of the wagon. This is just the front of a covered wagon right here. And now a little bit of the body over here of that covered wagon. So, round dome, and then the side comes over like this and around like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and dry that a little bit, get some of that color off before it gets set. Oops. front of my wagon isn't going to matter quite as much because I'm going to have some horses right here. But it's time to switch now to my smaller brush. I've got yellow there, so I'm just going to take a tad bit of red. Oh, that's probably too much. And too wet. So I'll dry that a little bit immediately. I can create a sense of the wagon like that. I needed to use drier red for that. There we go. And even though I know I'm going to put people on this, and we're not going to really see so much of all this. Uh, I can get the shape anyway. And get this space between the the uh, the cover of the wagon. Go ahead and get some color on for the wheels.
gosh, this brush drips so much. Okay. People and animals. So you can see that I am not trying to get a lot of detail here. Put a little color in for the wagon. So not only did you have the fabric, but we have those ribs that held the fabric up. And here we had a, bu a bunched, so they pulled that cord, it would have been all bunched up. We'll soften this, but still. Other wheels we're probably not going to see much of, but I'm putting them in anyway. Let's go ahead and soften all that before I do the last touch of the animals. So we'll get some softer, I'm just, this is just a wet brush, get some softer lines. on the fabric. In fact, I'm going to pick up some white so it's not all blue. I want to lighten just a couple of areas. Good enough. And now what we've got are horses coming at us. So we just have to see them. We just have to kind of see a head and a body. And, or maybe they're cattle, maybe they're oxen. Head, maybe that's easier, oxen. Head with ears. Body, legs. And these legs would be crossing over each other big fat body. I should make a big fat body. And over here it's just legs. Right? So we don't have a lot of details there, but it's just enough that it's recognizable. Our eyes convince us. Oh yeah. Oxen. Okay. Or something. Something's pulling this wagon. And that's all we need. And we could go back and add a little bit finer detail here and there on the mesas. Not everywhere, but in some places, it's nice to see the detail.
So this is obviously not uh, meant to be any particular place, but could be in a lot of different places on the trails heading west. So you could use this painting in a lot of different states or just covering United States history, a state history, how immigrants arrived in the West, how immigrants left from the East. So if your state is an Eastern state, people left those states and went West. This is a painting that could be used in almost any part of American history for a particular state or all of the United States or anything like that. The, I think the hardest part is probably getting these wheels. They're not perfectly round. They're taller than they are wide. And then getting the, the, the animals. I mean, one thing you can do is if you just give those, give these fat blobs, um, you know, two heads that are a little bit distinct. They don't have to be anything perfect. It's just that appearance you know, it could be mules, could be oxen, could be anything. Horses. Well, I shouldn't say anything. It's not going to be sheep. But, you know, that's enough. Just giving the, the big body some legs and head and ears. And we have enough. All right stop there. Hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Thanks for watching. I hope you found that helpful, and I hope you'll be interested in our course. If you haven't already, then you can subscribe to our newsletter where you'll hear about all of our offerings. You can hit the like button or the subscribe button, or you can go see our website so that you can see everything that comes out from Simply Waldorf. And of course, look in the description below for our free offers. Thanks again.